So Stellar Blade is a game that is way better than I thought it was going to be. With great boss fights, great combat and fun areas to explore, you take control of Eve. An I, raisinly dressed member of the airborne squad who arrives on Earth and is tasked with saving what little humanity remains from Nativa, a strange alien life form and that's about as deep into the story I'm going to be going in this video. The game was released this year in 2024 and is developed by Shift Up, a team that before this game has only ever actually made mobile games. But that aside, let's get to the task at hand, getting 100% and the Platinum Trophy. The game's got 43 trophies, but comes with an extra 2, bringing the total up to 45, which involves way too many collectibles, beating New Game Plus, and getting multiple endings. Leading right into the first trophy I grabbed, which was for activating my first camp. Camps are basically checkpoints, you can save, upgrade gear, level up abilities, and rest to restore your heals. Activate camp. Oh, my first trophy. Camp preparation. Activate your first camp. What the frick is that? After getting a little bit more familiar with the controls, I headed into my first boss fight, and this is how it went. Oh. What the f Ooh, that was so close, bro. Just beat him. Boom. Hell yeah, bro. Oh, whoa. We're ready for that. <laughs> That's nasty, bro. Split it in two. There's our second trophy. Abaddon defeated the first boss. Hell yeah. Just about. Just about. Moving on, I came head to head with another boss. Nah, bro, where are you going? You little pube. After dying twice, I knew I needed to improve my parry time. Get out of here. I like the, uh, I do really like the design of the monsters. Trophy though, Corruptor. I'm wasting no time, I jumped right into boss number three. Yo, what's up my guy? What you doing? What the fuck is that head all about? Man's got a wheel, f chain wheel for a head, bro. What the? F oh, we're going in hard, boys. Oh, look at this. Damn. I will say, animations in this game, on point, bro. On point. Get yeah, wrecked, bro. First try, suck my balls. Chainsaw face looking turd. Ooh, and another boss trophy. Let's get it. Gigas. Defeated, bro. Get out of here. After that one, I progressed the story, arriving in a pretty big desert area that we were free to explore and accept side quests. While exploring, I defeated my 100th enemy with the beta skill. He charged them up by attacking, dodging, and parrying. Ooh, got myself a trophy. Defeated 100 enemies with beta skills. Nice. Break is that, bro. That is disgusting. Okay. Heart of the infection. I then headed into a new area where my sword was deactivated. So instead, I had to use my ranged weapon. And they were really unique. They basically changed the game into a third person shooter. Our goal, though, was to recover one of three hypercells. And of course, a boss is guarding them. Wait, where do I get ammo? I guess the small enemies that I kill will, will give me ammo. Shit, they're just following me then. Yeah, I think they drop a little bit of ammo. Oh, they drop stingers as well. 
Excuse me, fella, you ain't throwing that shit at me. Jeez, I can't even see, bro. Oh, then that part comes becomes weak. That's when I... Oh, ho, ho, ho. holy sh... Bro, we just... We just messed that thing up. Holy shit. Come on, darling, pick it up. <laughs> hey, a trophy as well. Altus Li Livauer? Livar? I don't know how you pronounce that, but we retrieved the hypercell from this area. After gaining access to that first hypercell, I found myself in four more boss fights. Get wrecked. Right. We got a trophy as well. Brute. Oh my god, look at his belly, bro. His belly's going ape shit. Here we go. It's another boss down. Ooh, time for a boss fight. Let's get it. They've always got these weird, like, saw heads. Very strange design. Oh, nah, bro. Get wrecked, mate. Oof. You'd love to see that. Then we got him, boys. Then we got him. Beautiful. Oh, QTEs. Oh, stab in the back. Ooh. Straight down the middle, as always. Chop him into two pieces. Gruesome. There it is. Another boss trophy. Stalker. Some kind of king. It's a big boy. Let's go, mate. Alright, wasn't ready for that. Apparently, I. Okay, brilliant. That's the best start ever. Let me guess what we want. Nice. Um, I think we've angered him. Beautiful. Let's power up. Block. Back dodge. Beautiful. Shoot him. Up to town. Dash into him. Block. Beautiful. Power it. Into a perfect dodge. Power it. Power it. This. Miss. Power it. Hit him. Combo him. Finish him. Get in there, son. Drop kick to the dome. Squish the dome. Catch your sword like a badass. Get a trophy. Like a badass. Juggernaut. Get out of here, mate. It's gonna be a hard, hard fight. She looks freaking cool, though. That's not good. I thought she was going to do some, like, charge attack or something. Whoa. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, I see you. Uh-oh. 
want to dash away, mate? I'll shoot you in the face. Shit. Okay. Nice. No. I was just about to use a heal. Did it count? Oof. Okay, this is a rough one. We're getting a phase two. Yep. Oh, shit. Now she's... Okay, now she's flying, bro. Yo, Taki, come on. Let's talk about this. Yeah, I don't think she wants to talk. Damn. We got it, boys. We got it. Come on. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Third attempt. I'll take that. Oof. That was a good fight. That was really good. Brother. And another boss trophy. Now that all those bosses were taken care of, I continued exploring the desert, finishing odd jobs here and there. And while doing it, I took out my 50th enemy with an execution. To pull these off, simply run up behind an unaware enemy and press triangle. Ooh, trophy. Silent Executioner for defeating 50 enemies by execution. Not long after, while still exploring, I came across a mini boss and managed to pull off my 300th perfect parry. Promo set. Oh, got a trophy as well. Woof! Agile Gladiator. I have no idea what Agile Gladiator were for, but I'll take it. And then next up, you guessed it, another boss fight. What the frick are you doing up here, bro? You wanna go? You wanna get it? Then let's get it. Again, owned, bro. Parried, mate. Parried. I can absolute boss, brother. But super same mode, bro. What you gonna do about it? Nothing, bro. Bro, you're getting wrecked. Stun lock for days, bro. What are you gonna do? Boom. Nothing, bro. You got nothing. You got nothing. Okay, you got something, but not much. Nothing, bro. You got nothing. Over. Game over. Oosh. Oh, what? One hit. Get out of the way of that. Finish him off. Game ended, bro. It's over for you, big guy. Behemoth no more. Jesus. All right, calm down. I was only joking. Over, brother. Over. Get out of here, bro. Oh, shit. He's still alive. No, you're not. You're gone. Behemoth. Boosh. It's another boss fight in the bag. I then did the final side mission for Kaya. Oh, no. Not looking forward to this. We've got to give her the bad news, bro. Oh, nice. A trophy. Sisterly love. I think that's the first time we've got a trophy for completing a side mission. Once I was done with that, I went and collected what felt like a never-ending amount of collectibles. The game has almost 1,000 collectibles. Yeah, I'm not joking. Luckily though, you don't need every single one, but you do still need a hell of a lot. This person. Ooh, another trophy. Records collector. Collected 200 data bank entries, memory sticks, documents, or passwords. That's a lot. <laughs> After another few hours of exploring, I grappled my way across the side of this mountain, found a can at the top, more on that later. I then killed my 50th enemy with the burst ability. These are very similar to the beta skills from earlier, but instead of holding it L1, you hold it out. Oh my, oh nice, trophy. Relentless Destroyer defeated 50 enemies with burst skills. After that, I came across a character called Clyde, who was just kind of chilling out at the wastelands. He gave me a fishing rod and taught me how to fish. We'll have to catch 20 different fish for a trophy in a moment. But before that, I finished the final mission for the two other side characters, Digger 
an Enya. Oh, one of these ones. It's only the like, second time doing one of these ones. Easy enough. Ooh, trophy. Beep. Uh, completed D1G's, well, Digger's story. Beyond Fate, that's for finishing Enya and Sue's story. All right, so back to the fishing. You have a few side missions related to this mini game. The mini game itself is pretty relaxing. You buy bait, improve your fishing skill through Clyde. That allows you to catch bigger fish. It's the usual affair. Use some bait, wait for the fish to bite, press R2, and then spam the square button while holding the analog in the opposite direction the fish is swimming. Every now and then, you'll have to hold down R2 enough to hit the sweet spot, and you can then reel it in. You can also go into the options that you can just hold down R2 without having to find the sweet spot, and just hold square instead of spamming it. After a while, I switched to these controls because constantly pressing square got super tedious. It's a big fish, bro. It's a new fish. Nice. Butterfly fish. Oh, that one's new as well. Nice. Shouldn't need many more fish now. Oh, a new one. Oh, trophy as well. A lonely fisherman. Uh, caught 20 different fish. The next trophy I wanted to get out of the way was the one for opening 200 boxes. Yep, another collectible trophy. These are scattered absolutely everywhere. I'm not sure how many are actually in the game, but it's certainly more than 200. So again, you don't need every box. I did a little swimming and opened my final one. All right, I can finally open this one. Right, the password. So this one was for, ooh, trophy for it. Box Hunter. Oh, that's for opening 200 boxes. It's a lot of boxes, man. This game has got a lot of collectibles and a lot of busy work. I then decided I wanted a few of the combat related trophies. So first up, need to farm out some of these dodge for the trophy because I don't really dodge very often. I'm more of a, a parry guy. I do need a few. I don't know how many more I need. I mustn't need many more now though. There we go. Battlefield Martial Artist. So that's for perfectly dodging 200 enemies. I go back to parrying now. Then it was time to use my ranged weapon. This does consume ammo, so I found a decent place to get the remaining few. All right, I can kill these super easy. There's three of these enemies and they're right next to a save. So I can just rest up to respawn them and just one shot them. So I think I only need a handful more of the uh, the kills now with my ranged weapons. So see if we can get this trophy ticked off. There we go. Cold-blooded sniper. Defeated 150 enemies with ranged attacks. Up next, I hit the max for the rechargeable tumbler. The max level is five. These are the amount of heals that you can carry. Oh, I might get a trophy here. Tumbler enhancement. This should be the last one I need to have the maximum amount. Yeah, there we go. Perfect rechargeable tumbler. Enhance the rechargeable tumbler to its max. Hell yeah, so we got eight now. So for these, I've got those maxed. I just need this one now. So I need to get that to level 15. I think I need one or two more outfits. So I can't do that one, but I think I can upgrade this to the max and that should unlock another trophy. Yeah, there we go. Perfect exo spine. So that's for enhancing 10 to their max. Oh damn, we got a boss fight. Part of the contamination which means we might get another trophy as well. These are disgusting, these enemies. Like, what? what is that? This boss was, well, the last time we faced one of these kind of bosses, it wasn't too bad. But yeah, just keep dashing. And then once that opens up, we can use the Stinger. Oh, look at that, I'd love to see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what that was, but I think I avoided it. All right, we're going in. Oh, we just destroyed that thing. 
Another phase? No? Not as hard bro. as I expected. Exactly, Eve. She just pop it straight out there, bro. Like, ah, easy, mate. Easy mode. No trophy, though. Okay. Spoke too soon. Abyss. Retrieved the hypercell from the abyss. After setting off towards the end of the game, I managed to kill my 1500 enemy. Hey, there it is. Cruel Liberator. Oh, no, that's not even the trophy I was thinking of. This one's for defeating 1500 enemies. I then got the trophy for defeating 50 enemies in tacky mode. This is activated by pressing both the analogs in. It's pretty much this game's version of like Devil Trigger from DMC or Kratos' Rage Mode. Oh, there it is. There's the trophy we're working towards. Revenging Agents. 50 enemies in the Tachi Mode. Tachi Mode, Tachi Mode, I don't know. We got it. Shortly after, I crafted the last suit that I needed. For most of them, you first have to find them before being able to craft them. And then to actually craft them, you need materials that you get from enemies and all of those boxes I've been opening. Right, should we see if we can get 30 outfits now? That's a cool outfit. Right, so craft this. Planet diving suit, six. And then this should hopefully be number 30. Yeah, there we go. Nano suit collector, acquired 30 nano suits. I then maxed out my beater energy and HP. While exploring, you'll find these fallen airborne squad members. Every time you find three of each, you'll get one upgrade. Also, this next section, it sucked. This is the turret's oh. motion sensor. Take cover. Ah, uh, not these things again. Don't worry. Huh? We can use something to help. Actually, hit me. Jesus. How the hell am I supposed to make it across this thing? Bro, it went like through the car. Oh my Oh brilliant. My last I think my last last upgrades is over there. Might be best just dodging as much as possible and getting lucky. Okay, this works. Okay, that worked surprisingly well. <laughs> okay. Right, should have a trophy for this. Yeah, there we go. Beta core, perfect beta energy enhancement. So that's for enhancing my energy to the max. Oh, this could be my final upgrade for health, potentially. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful, perfect physical enhancement. So that's HP at its max. So now that we'd had max HP and energy, it was time to go on a crazy boss rush, earning a bunch of trophies. He's not even moving. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? Bro, how did that hit? What universe? What universe did that attack hit me? That was bullshit. The tune's popping in the background, holy. What's going on? We got him. At least this phase. Looks like he might have another one. Whoa, my guy is going for it. Yeah, that's a back dodge. There we go. Then we can shoot. Wow, that damage is bonkers. Charged. There we go. We got him. I mean, that was super, super sloppy. Whoa, okay. Just turned into a rail gun or something. That's crazy. That means we should get another weapon upgrade from this. Oh, a trophy as well. Belial. Belial. Defeated. Give me my weapon upgrade, please. There it is. Weapon core. Love to see it. Before heading into this next boss, I found my final can. These are highly missable. There it is. Can collector. Beautiful. Collected all cans. Ah! Lily. Jeez. Lily? Do you hear me? Lily.
What the hell is that? Okay, that's still creepy though. Get out of it, bro. She's got a sore back, but that is one nasty looking back. Oh, we're cheating, are we? Yeah, if I just stay out of its zone, I think we're good. Camera, camera, camera. Heal, heal. Here we go. Get that. Boom. Use my charge attack. What is that? I don't know what that was, but it didn't sound very good. Alright, we're good, we're good. Charge attack. Get out of the way. Boom. 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 Combos for days. Throw a grenade down. Stun lock. Combo. Over. I think. Oh yeah. <laughs> the, the like finishing boss sequences are always super badass. Trophy Karakuri. That's another boss ended. Will I get my final weapon upgrade now then? Ooh, weapon core. Nice. So we'll be able to upgrade our weapon to max, I think. Jesus. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to jump over that. Bro, he's teleporting all over the place. I need to heal. Alright, we're going tacky mode, which means we're going to spam the spin maneuver because it's overpowered. Bro, we might just finish it right here with the tacky mode. Too easy, brother. Okay, what's happening? I was joking, it wasn't easy. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Bro, you need to chill out because you ain't doing this to me right now. You're supposed to be dead. There we go. Mess it up with its own freaking arm. Woo! Uh oh. Are we gonna fight it in space? Real Whoa, okay. <laughs> what? Lily, please. No! This is all too much for me. What is that? Oh, I've got to aim it. Oh, charge. Okay, I'm charging. Let go. Lily, my attack was blocked. Find a way to oh, open its eye again. Okay. I'm analyzing it now. Oh, let's charge. The eyes of its side are connected to the nerves of direct hit. Second eye. This is it. Look, it's empty. Ooh, here we go. Ho oh, ho, right through it. Ooh. Demogorgon defeated. Alright, we can do our final weapon upgrade now. Yep, there it is. Perfect blood edge for maxing out the weapon. Wait, what did she just do right there? I thought it was me doing a move. Bro. She does not care about my grenades at all. Oh, that was perfect. Bro, if you kick me in the face one more time. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't you dare. We got it. Oh yeah. Woo! That was uh That was a good fight. Bro, imagine missing that and dying. 
Just ripped her arm off. Oh my god. And the other arm. Oh my days. And Chopper. Oh. We just. She just got destroyed. That'd be sweet if we could like dual wield the, the weapons. What? What do you think you're doing? Well, she's Stop coming back right in the sequel. That's savage though. Chop her arms off and then just leave her there. Like, damn. That was one big ass door. Like, I always wondered why doors were this big in sometimes. Like, what we're walking through there, giants? Why do we need a door that big? You'd imagine they'd want it hidden. Instead, they make it like 300 feet tall. And a trophy. Raven. She's done. There it is. This should be our final camp. Yeah, there it is. You love to see it. Meticulous Explorer activated all the camps. So now I should be able to save the game, upload my save to the cloud, and then we can get two of the three endings. Right, again with a railgun. Oh, we got a timer. Freaking cool. The first ending I got was for having 100% with Lily. You can easily max it by completing side missions and grabbing collectibles. If you're going for the Platinum, you'll easily have 100% with Lily way before the end of the game. <laughs> Let's return to the hey, making new memories achieved. That's ending number one. Two more to go. Shield back. Bitch. There we go, we got him. Ooh. She's again chopping arms off. She's always chopping everyone's arms off. I didn't even notice the, the new outfit. Ooh, there's our trophy for our second ending. Return to the colony. Yes, there it is. Natiba Researcher. That was the one I was worried about. Get information on all Natibas. Yeah, I was super worried that I, I might have missed an enemy, but thankfully not. We should be able to now. I think it's this one, so we should get the trophy. Once we purchase this, yep, there we go. Thorough technician, learned all skills. So the extra ones you can see here, these are all the new game skills. Boom, well, there it is. Cost of lost memories. Eve protocol. The platinum has been achieved. And then we should also get one of the DLC trophies, repeating protocols, which is for completing the game in new game plus. But I do need, oh, new milestone as well. Win-win. I do need one more DLC trophy to bring this platinum and 100% journey to an end. So let's go get a few more skills. All right, we got a camp here. Should be able to grab that final upgrade that we need. And that should give me trophy 45, bring in Mastella Blade journey to an end. There it is, infinite blade. We've now got 100%. That's it for this one. Took me about 45 hours. Thank you for watching. I've been Mr. Leaning. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you all on the next video.